Hello and good afternoon. It's Sunday. It's about 25 to 1 at the moment. I actually didn't film anything yesterday. I had a day off camera, but what I did was I had a lie-in. did editing, of course. I went and met the local gal pals and we were all together, all the parents, all the kids, in one place at the same time. And we had a lovely lunch together and a custard slice. Probably shouldn't have had it, but it was so good. And then I had really quite a restful evening compared to usual. I didn't even practice my flute yesterday. I know, shock horror. I had a nice long walk in the evening and clock some steps up because that's really been falling by the wayside this last couple of months. My steps have been right down every day. I'm not achieving my goal of 10,000 steps a day at all, but I did yesterday. I went over it, yay. Actually, I did manage to pop into Wilco yesterday. I still don't know if it's closing down or not, but I went in and it did have a bit of a... It looked like it was closing down. The shelves were going bearer and there was whole eight sections just removed, so it was a lot more space in the store and it felt a bit end of an era-ish. So I don't know if it's actually closing, I suspect it is, so I wish the best of luck to all the staff. Anyway, all that being said, I did pick up a couple of bits. I only went in to look, but I did come out with a few things, and I thought I would just tell you what the savings were on those items. ta -da! Here it is. The thing in the box is something else, actually, that came from Amazon. The first thing I got were these pegs. You're probably wondering what on earth I want them for. I'll tell you in a minute. They were originally £4, but they had a 20% markdown, so those were actually £3.20, so I saved 80 pence. Now, they're very like the uh, beach towel things that go on the sun loungers aren't they but I've picked a few of those up actually when I was on holiday somewhere or another it might have been Greece actually and I put them in my gig bag and they have been useful at gigs for different things like clipping music folders onto stands like the stiff ones that want to just keep closing themselves like the plasticky ones from the works they just want to self-close so they're really handy for that and also there's been just like the odd occasion when we've needed to clip a curtain to a pole or something to keep the backdrop and they're just really handy but the ones I got were bright pink and bright blue and they're really noticeable and stand out so I thought go on get them get them because you'll probably never see that again just a subtle grey so they're gonna be swapped for my lovely bright pink and blue ones <laughs> and my bright pink and blue ones can live in my cellar permanently right the next item now I said that I wanted one of these I actually got three which was this, so it's just like a drawer, there's two there, because one of them's in the fridge already being used. It's quite hard to get apart, oh there we are. So these things, they were originally four pound, but they had a discount of 20% as well, so those worked out at three pound 20 each, and I got three, so it cost me nine pound 60, whereas it would have cost me 12 pound. So number one is in there already with all my cheeses in. Yeah, I'm gonna use the other two. I think like when I got fruit, like grapes and strawberries and things, I want a tray for that so the whole lot can come out and easily be looked through, you know. I'm not quite sure what the third one's gonna be used for yet, but I'm sure it will be used. And I don't know why, but I really fancy one of those dino writer things with the plasticky tape and the embossed letters. I just feel like I want them in my life. Because it occurred to me, when I was sorting out my linen cupboard a while ago, I thought I really should do labels on the shelves. And I really should have, because I was shoving stuff in, in a hurry, you know, I had a spare five minutes. I was like, right, quickly get the laundry away. And I couldn't remember which were single, fitted sheets, which were double, and I was just like, Oh, I haven't got time, I'm just going to shove it anywhere. So already it's getting messed up again. So I think little labels on the shelves. And I think they'll be wipe cleanable. Whereas I think if I just use the sticky paper one, they'll get worn and dirty and grubby. Now, my friend, my gal pal yesterday, she had a top tip. She said she uses scotch wool tape. It peels off really easily. It's like sellotape, but peels off easily. It's clear. And she said she writes on it on permanent marker. So she put it on the kids' folders and all that for their schoolwork and, and whatever, jars for things in the fridge or whatever. And then she just peels the tape off and discards it when she no longer wants it and it doesn't leave any marks. So I'm going to be looking out for scotch wool tape. Yeah, maybe I'll get that instead of um, a dino thing. Maybe the dino thing will just be faddy and sit in the cupboard and take up room. Maybe scotch wool tape is what I should do. Hmm. My third and final purchase from Wilco were these subject dividers. They are cardboard ones, which I prefer over the plastic ones. I'm not sure if I'll give them to Izzy or if I'll use them myself, but I don't know if I get through a lot of these because I do a lot of stuff with files. Those were in the 30% off stationary sale. They are normally 75 pence each, but they worked out at 69 pence each. So I spent a total of 156 on those, whereas it would have been 225. I am going to be terribly boring now, but I'll switch off the camera while I'm being terribly boring. I know a lot of people are not into the music elements of my vlogs, but I'm a musician, it's what I do. <laughs> it's very hard not to vlog about it, but I know, I know people are more interested in 
everything else other than the music bit but I am going to go and practice for an hour now in the sala because I've got a gig later and I want to be nice and warmed up for it and I didn't practice yesterday so I'll speak to you when I've finished that. Oh actually I forgot to tell you what was in the box. It's not that exciting really because I've shown you these before because I get them on subscribe and save. Can you guess what it is? Yes! It's my lentil cakes! Do you know what? I've stopped getting the corn ones because I don't think they keep very well. I think it's to do with the packaging of the callow corn cakes. They're all right when you first buy them, but if you try and get like a month's worth and eat them gradually over a month, I find they go soft in their packaging, whereas these seem to be okay. So I don't know why that is. It is one hour later and I'm starving hungry. I'm gonna actually have crumpets. Whoop. And I'm going to have some of these stuffed vine leaves with it that need eating. And I'm determined on eating these eggs before they go off, so I'm going to fry one of those and have it as well. I know, very random. My daughter's just been down chatting to me between shots there. She has got a number of items in a basket for an online shop and she wants me to approve them and then give her the money for them, basically. So she said, can I book an appointment with you? I said, yes. You can. I need to eat, then I need to pop to B&M because I need to sort out my packed tea. And I just, I didn't think of it yesterday. It was very disorganised anyway, so I need to go and get something to make a packed tea out of. And I said, as soon as I get back, we'll do it then. <laughs> Whoa, come on, crack egg. Oh, shh. That's not going well. <laughs> Where's that, the shell gone? Oh, I don't know, it's in there. Right, I'm just going to fish the whole lot up in a minute. This is the non-cracking egg. Oh my gosh, I'm making the worst job of this possible. Oh my God. Oh, right, well there. <laughs> I can't believe what hard work I just made of that. Mm, that will do. Oh, I think I've got this on Zoom or something. Yes, I had. <laughs> I try not to burn my fingers there. I think these have gone a bit cold. <laughs> oh, there's still a bit of warmth in them. Mm. Oh, I'm rubbish at waiting until everything's ready before I start eating. It's because I wait till I'm really hungry before I start making food, which is a problem. I want Marmite on there. Around the lunch. I kind of want cheese with it, but I'm wondering if that's overkill. <laughs> Put a slice in. There. Weirdest lunch in a while, that one. That was a strangely satisfying lunch. <clears throat> anyway, I popped everything in the dishwasher that needs to go in the dishwasher and I did sort my daughter's uni shopping basket thingy out actually. £22.76 it all came to. There was quite a lot of different things. She, oh, it's all getting very exciting. She's found two of her no, three of her roommates, or not roommates, but people that are sharing the same campus block as them. There are going to be eight individual rooms and they share one kitchen, so that's their, I don't know if they call it a house or what, but she's found three of them, and one she already knows from college anyway, they're going, they're both going from the same class. So they've been doing online chatting and starting to get to know each other a little bit, so... Oh my goodness, such exciting times. Um, I don't think she necessarily needs to have her bank account converted to a student account before she goes but I think that is something we're going to put on our list to try and do before we go. Apparently you get various perks and I don't know what they are but here's it's all new to me. Oh, I've got to sort out her delivery for her injections. I'd better do that tomorrow I think. But anyway right now I am going to go to B&M and uh, now if the pasties are reduced to clear I'll have to get a pasty for tea but let's see. If I buy a pack of six rolls only one will probably get eaten that's the thing or I'll end up forcing myself to eat bread just to use them up. And I don't really like eating bread that much. It's like, it's convenient when you're out and about, but I wouldn't necessarily choose it in the house, unless it's really nice bread or freshly baked bread or homemade bread. Uh, anyway, I'm waffling on, I'm gonna go now. We've got air fries in here for 30 quid tower, two litre capacity. Oh no, are the veggie ones all gone? Yeah. Oh no, well that's that decided for me then. Or I could have a cheese and onion slice instead from the Welsh pantry. Let's do that. Only one crumpet left at home, so for a pound we'll have a pack of those. I was wondering about getting one of these concentrated squash thingies for taking to gigs, because sometimes I run out of my bottle of squash that I've taken with me and then I top it up from the bar with just water, but I could have a little squirt of that, couldn't I? I wonder what that one's like. I'm gonna give it a go and I'll put it in my gig bag. 
<laughs> these giant pegs are everywhere now. Look, these are £3 for two in here. Now the Christmas items are starting to inch their way in. They've got a sale on on the summer outdoor toys stuff. So I don't know if that's something you're interested in for stocking up for next year. Apparently I'm getting distracted in B&M as per usual. Well, it's hard not to, isn't it? It's like the house of fun or something in here compared to my house. Right, I'm going to go and pay and get back home again. Oh, actually, even more distracted by laundry stuff. Now, Izzy did have a peg basket full of pegs in the, the basket of the online shop that she took out because we're just not sure what the situation's going to be. I can't imagine she's going to have access to a washing line. I just don't think so. I certainly didn't see any evidence of it when we went to visit the uni, so she's going to hold fire on that, on pegs and see what's there and she can always pick some up in a local shop when she's there if she needs them. I mean pegs are handy for other things anyway. I like my stainless steel ones honestly, they're one piece of metal, they don't snap, they don't break, they don't rust. Oxidise a little bit like, I don't know if that's the right word for it, they'll discolour if you leave them out in the rain but it's not rust. I was wondering if something more like this, you know the uh, radiator errors might be better but they had a good one in Wilco. I held fire on getting it because I don't know if she's got a radiator in her room. We need to find out. She's saying, well, I haven't got room for it. And then I was thinking, well, would she have access to an area like in a laundry room? Or would she be having to dry her clothes in her room? Would she be able to use a tumble dryer? I just don't know. I'm back from the shop and I'm just going to pop these apples around to my elderly neighbours. I just saw them in the street and I said, oh, I've been meaning to ask you, would you like some of IB's Bramley apples? And they said, oh, yes, please. And they looked so delighted. So I'm going to take them straight around. I'm back. Well, they were very pleased with their apples. It's amazing how pleased people can be with Bramley apples. I don't know why exactly. Mick has his really sour. He doesn't add any sugar to his. He slices it up. I think he just cooks it down in a pot. I don't think he even adds any water. And then he has natural yogurt and granola with it. That's his favorite thing. Um, anyway, it is 20 past three. I've got to go out at a quarter to five. So I've got till 4.45. So I'm making myself a nice little coffee. Then I'm gonna take it upstairs and sit up at my desk editing as much of this footage as I can fit in before it's time to get ready to leave. Mm, my tights dry that I washed yesterday and hung out to dry late last night. Yes, they are. Excellent, I'll wear them again tonight. Oh, and my shorts. Shorts, shorts. See yeah, this. Yes. Yeah. Party tonight, not a wedding. Done editing. I'm having a little rest for five minutes. I'm watching George and Will. George and Will, who I met in London. You may remember if you saw that vlog, like, last summer. They watched this channel. Hi! He's got a video up run everywhere part of his run everywhere series this one is in greece i'll leave a link to it in the description for you this is today's outfit because it's a party and it's a 21st birthday party so i don't think i need to be too formal i'm back in my special place again in the car with mick we're off to herefordshire and tonight's gig is actually in part of a school so we don't really quite know what to expect so it should be quite interesting mick's been in wilco today haven't you i've been in wilco and i've bought some stuff yeah he's got some gaffer tape haven't you a musician's yeah. best friend yeah gaffer tape and yeah. he said there was a tannoy announcement asking you not to ask the staff about what's happening with wilco because they will not be able to answer so i've heard about staff getting abuse from customers would you believe uh bizarre but there we are um anyway it's actually not raining can you believe it spied we've got guy up in front so we can say oh that's very comforting <laughs> i don't know why you've been doubting the navigation on this one i don't know why <laughs> there's two vegetarian cars immediately following the fresh british chicken van <laughs> guy is now behind us he pulled over to let a van go past um we are like really close like two minutes away or something yes oh here we are oh gosh doesn't look big enough to have a kalian There are people around and about, so I'm just filming quietly. Oh, that's Guy, that's all right, and Mick. We're setting up in this corner here. There are lots of different rooms. We've come through a very nice foyer. I've sneaked out to do a bit of vlogging. Now, this is a funny looking feature here. I've never seen anything like it. It's like a sunken little tiny alleyway. <laughs> with steps going down to it, look. It goes all the way along, it's a bit overgrown, so I'm not gonna walk down it and uh, get all messed up on my clothes. It's trying to rain. I'm getting a few spits on my head. There's the venue from the other side. It's quite spacious, actually. There's lots of very big rooms in it, and uh, Kaylee is in one of the rooms. There's a hog roast, which we're welcome to partake of later when it's ready. I've already made friends with the caterers. I always do. <laughs> well, I try to, anyway. Uh, we've been offered to have what we want from the bar. Hopefully they do cups of tea. Don't know if they do. 
never know, I might do. But I've got a can of Coke with me anyway. I've already eaten my pasty and banana. I was just too hungry upon arrival. So as soon as I'd uh, done my bit of setting the PA up, I was troughing that down my neck at lightning speed and felt human again afterwards. Right, I better get in. I think we're starting in about 10 minutes. Although that said, there's hardly anybody here yet, so. I know actually maybe, no, actually people are arriving at seven. We're not starting at seven. I have no idea what time we're finishing, but I suspect it'll be late because I think we'll probably do the whole night because um, like when it's a wedding, there's a DJ or something afterwards quite often. And I don't think there is this one. You never know, there might be, but I don't think so. People are arriving now in their droves. They're in the other room and uh, I've got some elderflower cordial from the bar. Some people are camping, apparently. I'm having a mooch around before we start. We're not starting for ages, actually, I've just realized. And it was a whole setup. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. It's about quarter past ten. I haven't vlogged much tonight. We've got two more dances to do. We're just having a little break. They're catching their breath. Someone's going to do a speech. And then we're going to crack on and pack up for the night. We're on our way back, back in Wales, as you can tell by the rain. Um, we've got about an hour and a quarter commute each way this time. 25 past 12, just came in through the door, been chatting to my daughter, she's been watching telly on the sofa there and living her best life. Getting to know the new course members now on Snapchat, exciting times. We had a lovely evening, it was a birthday party tonight. Everybody was really, really lovely and they were well up for the dancing. I did wonder, you know, with the 21st birthday, whether all the friends of that age would be into the Kaylee dancing, but they totally were. They were really up for it and they loved it. So it was a really good night. Anyway, I've realized on the way home that it's bank holiday tomorrow, but I'm not really planning to like laze around or anything or have any time off or, or do anything different to normal, but there we are. Uh, I might have a little lie in, maybe, we'll see. But thank you so much for watching today's video. Please give it a like if you happen to like it. Subscribe down below to watch more videos from me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.